So you want to invest in Philippine stock market and gusto mong malaman yung very basics like how to buy and sell stocks, ano ba yung mga stocks na pwede mong bilhin at this time, and some other tips, tricks, and traps, and lessons na makakatulong sa'yo as you begin your investing journey in Philippine stock market. So in this video, I'm going to teach you ano ba yung mga basics in navigating yung COL Financial account online. And in this video, tuturuan kita ng basics like how to buy your first stock and how to sell it later on and some other resources that you can begin with. For example, si COL Financial may tinatawag siyang stock picks na nagbibigay sa'yo ng list of stocks that they recommend for the long term. That's just a sample of the resources that COL Financial can give to its clients. And lastly, some tips and traps no, that can help you navigate your journey as a starting investor in stock market. And if you lack up an account kay COL Financial, so you can check this video how to open your COL Financial account online. So hindi mo na kailangan lumabas ng iyong bahay. In fact, you can create your own account using your mobile phone. So available yan dun sa ating previous video in our YouTube channel. And if you want to learn more about how to buy and sell stocks online, so ito yung intricacies, how to determine the opening price, for example, and paano nangyayari yung matching ng buy and sell order. So you can also watch this previous video. And for more other lessons, you can check this site. So meron yung ebook giving you the very basics about how to start investing in Philippine stock market. And for other practical videos, you can subscribe to my channel. So make sure to click the notification bell so you get updated for every future video that I'm gonna share with you guys. So with that said, let's go back to our lesson and log into our COL Financial account. So now, as mentioned, the stock market is open from 9 a.m. to 3:30 p.m. And dahil lang market ngayon is open, we can go log into our COL Financial account. So just enter your login details and you will be brought doon sa kanilang homepage. Ayan, so ito yung kanilang landing page after logging in. So very overwhelming ito no, for a new investor. But if you want to, for example, go buy and sell stocks, so pupunta ka lang dito sa trade and enter order. But first, let's go back to this screen. So ito yung kanilang homepage. And may kita mo dito ang iyong user ID, your account number. And then your equity value, so ito ngayon yung value ng portfolio mo. So mamaya, we'll go back to how to see your portfolio. This day change, so ito yung amount increase or decrease ng investment mo during this trading day. So remember kasi ang price ng stocks ay nagbabago every trading day. So dahil market is open right now, pwede itong magbago within the day. And then, meron ka ditong my last 5 trades. So this is just a quick place to go if you want to see your previous trades on this day. So, and then some latest research and COL announcements and PSA news. And then on this part, pwede mo din ditong makita yung pinaka-quote ng stock, for example, JFC. So, may kita mo dito yung bid volume. So, ito yung number of shares that are willing to buy at this bid price, 144 pesos and 90 cents. On the other hand, meron ditong offer price. Ito ngayon yung mga gustong magbenta. And ito yung kanilang volume or number of shares. And then, here, meron tayo ditong actives na tinatawag. So, these are the stocks that are most active right now. Pag sinabing active, malaki yung trading value. So, ang pinaka-active right na, for example, is Ayala Land. So, ang, ang value so far or yung amount na na-trade at this point is 480 million pesos. And then, this is the last price ni Ayala Land. And yung change from the previous trading day. So, this means umakyat yung presyo ni Ayala Land ng 1 peso and 50 cents from the previous trading day which was yesterday. And if you express that as percentage, so that is percent change, 4.97%. And then, as mentioned, itong actives will list you all the most traded stocks. So dito mo makikita kung ano ba yung pinaka maraming nagbabay and sell sa Philippine Stock Exchange at this day. And then, yung gainers, so dito mo naman makikita yung top stocks with the top percent change. Remember, we have more than 200 stocks in our stock market. So, anong stock doon yung may pinaka mataas na percent change? So, dito mo makikita yung stocks na yun under gainers. 
And then on the other hand, meron ka ding loser. So this shows you the list of stocks na pinakanalugi on this trading day. And then itong market, so dito mo naman makikita yung percent change of other stock market around the world. And itong portfolio, so ito ngayon yung pinaka shares mo. The other day I bought Metrobank. So I bought 200 shares and yung last price, so this is the prevailing or the current price ni Metrobank is 41.20. That is a change of 1.25 from previous closing price and expresses percentage, so that is 3.13%. Ito lang yung pinaka-basic itong landing page nila. And if you want to go to your portfolio, so ito lang yun, you go to trade and then meron ka dito ang portfolio. So click on it and makikita mo dito ang iyong portfolio. So itong cash balance, so ito ngayon yung available balance mo that you can use if you want to buy stocks. So now I have 1,986 as my buying power. On this stock position, so dito mo ngayon makikita yung pinaka portfolio mo. Ano ba yung stocks na hawak mo ngayon? So in my case, I have Metrobank and that has a market price of 41 peso and 15 cents. So this is the current price. My average price, so ito ngayon yung average price nung binili ko siya. How many shares do I have? So I have 200 shares. Itong uncommitted shares, so sinasabi lang siyang uncommitted, that means hindi ko pa ito binibenta. So market value, this is the market value of this stock, Metal Bank. And now I have a gain of 142 pesos. So expresses percentage, that is 1.78%. So yung total equity score is the total market value of all my holdings. Pero dahil I only have one, so that is just the same as this market value ni Metal Bank. And my total equity gain loss so far is 142 pesos and 74. So it is possible no, na marami kang stocks on this table. So ia-add lang nila yung market value and yung gain loss to get this total equity and total gain loss. Ano ngayon yung day change? So ito yung tinaas ng value ng investment mo from the previous trading day. So compared to yesterday, umakyat yung value nung aking investment ng 237 pesos and expresses percentage so that is 1.78. So now my total account equity value is yung total equity ko which is 8,156 plus yung buying power or actual balance that I have. So this one, so pag inad mo ito and inad mo yung total equities mo, so you will get this total account equity value. So ito ngayon yung pinaka-total value of your investment including yung buying power or cash that you have right now. On this screen, you can also trigger a buy or sell order. For example, if I click this sell, so lalabas ngayon yung order screen. So this is also the order screen that you use if you want to buy stocks. So you can click here buy or sell. And then meron tayo ditong board. Meron dalawang selection, it's main and odd lot. So 99% of the time, you will have to use main. And then yung term is day, uh, GTC, which is good till cancelled. So this is valid for 60 days. And meron tayo ditong ATC at the closing. So in my next video lesson, i-discuss ko further kung ano ba yung differences nitong tatlo. But essentially, day means your order that you will create is valid only for the current trading day, which is today. And then itong GTC will make your order valid for the next 60 days until mamatch siya. So stock code, so this is where you put yung stock code of company na bibilhin mo or ibebenta mo. So most likely, kapag nag-start ka pa lang, medyo hindi mo pa yan matatandaan. Pero kalaunan, dahil lagi mo naman siyang tinitingnan, so matatandaan mo na rin yan through time. And then number of shares, so this is also called the volume. So ilang shares ba yung bibilhin mo or bibenta mo? And in relation to this is yung tinatawag na board lot. So meron tayong board lot per stock. So the board lot gives you yung minimum number of shares that you can actually buy. So meaning, in the main board, you will only be able to buy a minimum number of shares, which is 100 shares for Metrobank. So every stock, nagbabago yan. So pwede mo na lang yan tingnan, and then make sure lang na yung ilalagay mo dito is at least that value 100. So kapag naglagay ka ng 50 dyan, so hindi nga yan papayagan. So halimbawa, try natin preview order. 
So yan. So number of shares must not be less than 100 because 100 is the board lot ng Metal Bank. And then, if gusto mo naman damihan yung shares na bibilhin mo or bibenta mo, make sure also that yung volume mo is a multiple of your board lot. So if you want to buy halimbawa 150, so hindi ka rin nga papayagan because 150 is not a multiple of your board lot. So if we try this, yan, so hindi ka nga papayagan. So number of shares must be multiple of 100 which is your board lot. And finally, so dito mo ngayon ilalagay yung price if you want to sell and if you want to buy. So dito mo naman makikita kung ano yung stock position mo. This will help you dun sa paglagay ng volume. So for example, right now I have 200 shares of Metro Bank. So hindi ako pwedeng magbenta ng 300 shares. Kasi wala naman akong 300 shares. I only have 200 shares. If I will click this, preview order. Ayan. So sabi niya, insufficient stock position. I only have 200 stocks or shares of MBT. So more or less naman, no, pipigilan ka ng system if mali-mali yung value na nilalagay mo. So hindi mo naman kailangang matakot dyan. And then on this section, may kita mo yung tinatawag na quotation or quote ng stocks. So again, as mentioned, this is where you can see kung ano yung number of shares and price ng mga willing mag-buy. And then dito na yung may kita yung number of shares and yung price ng mga willing mag-sell. And dahil hindi sila nagmamatch, so never may execute yung order. And then as you can see here, yung market status natin is pre-opens. Later on, papakita ko sa inyo what this actually means. But right now, uh, nagkakaraon ng pag-receive ng orders para ma-determine yung pinaka-closing price ng stock on this trading day. Okay? And then, here's a quotation. So, dito mo makikita yung every information that you want to know about a specific stock. So, for example, Meralco. So, the stock code of Meralco is MAR. So, again, you will be able to see here yung price and yung quotation. Here, ang previous price, so ito yung price ni Meralco on the previous trading day, which was yesterday. And then, this high is the highest price attained by this stock, Meralco, on this trading day. So, ang current price niya is 265. But this high tells you na it actually reached 270 pesos and 20 cents earlier. And then on the same way, uh, ito ngayon yung low or yung lowest price na naati ni Meralco on this trading day. And then yung value, so ito yung amount ng traded transactions na nangyari kay Meralco which reached more than 87 million pesos. Then how many trades yung nangyari kay Meralco right now that is 4,236 volume, number of shares, and so on and so forth. Okay, so if you want, for example, to see yung dividends, so pwede mo rin makita dito. So dividends is one way of earning in investing in Philippine stock market. So you can watch my previous video, how you can earn dividends by buying dividend-paying stocks. So pwede nyo panoorin yun. So maraming available dito, no? but so far, ang pinakamahalaga sa inyo is, as I mentioned, itong trade because this is where you actually enter your buy and sell orders. And dito mo din makikita ang itong portfolio o yung list of stocks that you currently have. And then meron din dito sa trade yung trading history. So dito makikita yung historical transactions that you have. For example, uh, I can select this. Completed trades, meaning ito yung mga nag-match na trades for this month. So if I display this, may kita ko dito na last April 15, 2020, I bought 200 shares of Metal Bank. And ilan yung volume or ilan yung shares na nag-match? That is 200 and at what price? 39.95 pesos. And yung status niya is executed. So meaning nag-match siya. And then yung transaction type, BN, meaning this is a buy order. Kapag sell, ang may kita mo dyan is SN. Okay? And then, if you have a live order, so pwede mong makita yan dito sa view order. So halimbawa, so magko-close ngayon yung market ng 1pm, so maglagay lang tayo halimbawa ng sell. Uh, I have uh, MBT. So ang last price na MBT is 41.65. So, pwede kong ilagay siya dito. So, I have 200 shares. Then, 41.65. So, here, may gustong bumili ng 41.65. So, pag nilagay ko ito, dahil ang price ko is the same as ng buying, magmamatch ito actually. 
no? So, if I click this preview order, ayan. So, dito mo makikita yung details ng order mo, pati na rin yung order charges. So, pag nilagay natin yung password, place sell order, ayan. So, pag chinect natin yung view order, pwede natin makita yan dito. Ayan. Hindi na siya open order kasi nagmatch na siya. So, para makita natin yon, check natin itong trading history. Dahil nangyari naman siya today, I can just show this for the day of April 17. And may kita natin yung order na nilagay natin. Ayan. So, I place an order 41.65, 200 shares. So, that means, dahil binenta ko na siya, mawawala na siya sa aking portfolio. Ayan. So, account does not have any stock position. And if you notice, nag taas yung ating actual balance or yung buying power because yung shares is binenta natin and therefore yung shares is na convert into cash no into our buying power so from an initial capital of 10,000 pesos which i used to open my account so umakyat na siya ng 241 pesos and 84 cents so imagine if you have 10,000 pesos pag nilagay mo yan sa banko so, matagal yan bago kumita ng 200 pesos. But in stock market, so in 2 days, you can earn a much more. But of course, may kasama ding risks yun. So, pwede yung panoodin yung previous video ko na summarizing how you can uh, minimize yung risks and paano ka pwedeng kumita and paano ka pwedeng malugi. So, yung video na yun is available sa description. And then, here, maraming options dito under portfolio. So, pwede mong makikita ngayon yung monthly ledger account and yung some other transactions no, that you can have in COL Financial. But as beginners, so just focus on this trade and on clicking enter order and checking your portfolio and checking your trading history. So now, going to the second part ng ating topic, which is yung stock picks. So you can go dito sa research. So maraming researches na ginagawa si COL Financial and shares it to its clients um, if you are an active trader, so you will find this very helpful. But if you are just a new investor, uh, you can focus on this calling the shots. So dito mo may kita yung pinaka recent na stock pick recommendations ni COL Financial. So if you are a new investor, yung picking of stocks can be very difficult. So you can start with the stock picks ni COL Financial. So, marami siyang explanation na ginagawa dito na fundamental analysis, market analysis, pati na rin yung mga nangyayari sa ibang country. But if you are just interested in the stock pick, so somewhere on this presentation, may kita mo yung stock picks nila, which is available here. So, meron siya dito ang industry. So, from consumer, meron siyang tatlong recommended stock picks. Telco, so meron siyang recommended na isa. And sa power, meron siyang recommended na isa. And then, ito yung last price ng stock picks nila when that, uh, during the time they created this recommendation. And then, itong FV or yung fundamental values, ito yung kanilang target price essentially. No? So, they expect na ma-reach yung stock na to yung kanilang fundamental value or yung target price nila. Meron din silang tinatawag na buy below. So, this is just a form of risk management. So, ayaw mo kasi na habulin yung stocks sa mataas na presyo. So, yung buy below nila, this only means na you should only buy at this price and below. So, for example, yung URC, so ang buy below niya is 110, which is mas mababa doon sa current price. No? So, pag chinect natin yan na halimbawa dito, punta ka ngayon sa quote, and then check natin itong URC. Check mo yung last price, 126. So, ang buy below niya is actually 110. So, kung susundin mo itong stock picks ni Suel Financial, so, mag-aantay ka pa na ma-reach yung value na to before you buy URC. Check natin na limbawa yung FGEN. So, punta lang kayo sa quote and click FGEN. Ayan. So, ang last price niya is 17.78. Ayan. So, ang buy below niya is 1880, which means if susundin mo itong stock picks, pwede mo itong bilhin. Dahil ang market price niya is 1778, which is actually lower than your buy below price. So again, yung buy below means uh, you would want to buy this stock at this level or lower. And then you will wait na ma-reach itong uh, fundamental or target price and uh, you will realize, hopefully, no, a profit doing so.
again, this is just a recommendation. So, it's up to you if you're gonna follow this. And make sure lang no, na you understand why you are buying and selecting these specific stocks. So, pwede ka namang malugi, no? Wala, walang guarantee na pag sinunod mo sila is hindi ka na malulugi. So, again, it's all up to you and make sure na you know what you are doing. Now, if you are going to be an active trader in the future, ang magagamit mo naman ngayon is itong charting. So, if you go to quote and then itatype mo halimbawa yung uh, JFC, meron ditong option to open charting. So, if I click this one, so this is just for active traders, no? So kapag active traders, you are closely monitoring the price action nung stocks na sinusundan mo. May raming options dito sa charting. So I'm gonna share it with you in the future videos. Talimbawa, pwede mo ngalimbawa check itong kung gano siya umakyat. Talimbawa, from, from this point, and then bumaba siya this to, nung March 19, so as you can see, bumaba yung pressure niya ng negative 57%. And now from this point, March 19, up to the current market press niya today, so umakit na siya ng 57%. So ganun yung volatility sa stock market, no? So in a span of uh, several days, pwedeng umakit yung investment mo ng 57%. But also in a span of few weeks, pwede rin bumaba yung investment mo ng more than half. Again, this charting tools is available even if you're a new client in 2L Financial. And then, ituturo ko sa inyo how you can navigate with this charting. For example, how you can add uh, indicators na tinatawag para malaman mo yung insights that is hidden in this historical price action ni JFC. So, yan. so going back to this 2L Financial, so meron ditong Street Smart. If you want to explore, pwede yung check yan. And lastly, itong mutual funds. So, si COL Financial, hindi lang naman siya stocks lang ang ino-offer niya. So, pwede ka rin mag-invest sa mutual funds. And if you want to learn more about investing in mutual funds, so meron na kong previous video, how you can find the best performing mutual fund and ano ba yung mutual fund in general. So, you can also watch this video and yung link is available also in the description of this video. So yun, yun actually yung lesson natin for today. So I hope meron kayong natutunan. And if you have any comment or question, you can put them in the comments below. And if you like this video, so I would appreciate if you will subscribe to my channel. So leave a thumbs up, leave your comments below or questions. And share this video so that we can reach to more Filipinos who want to achieve their own financial freedom. So thank you guys for watching and see you in our next video. God bless us all. Bye-bye.